All right, guys, so the uncapping process. It's gonna be pretty easy because I'm just doing a real quick spin on these and I'm um, getting them right back in the hive. This is what we do, uncapping tool, and this is how I do it. It's a pretty easy process. It gets really messy. We run mostly medium, so deeps is not a normal thing for us, but they're all the same. I really like doing this, it's kind of a relaxing thing for me. Because this is an early pull, I'm probably going to get these tomorrow right back out into the hives so they can, with the honey residue still on the frame, the bees will usually fill it pretty quick. And this doesn't really damage the cells too much doing it this way. I know people use a hot knife and you ask five beekeepers how they beekeep and you'll get 10 different answers. But this is just how we do it at Channel Homestead. I wouldn't say I'm the most successful in the world, but we're doing pretty good. So again, guys, um, we're going to keep trying to do a lot of these kind of educational videos and how we do things. And if you could like and subscribe, um, comment with any questions you have or just tell us how your homestead's doing, that would be awesome. Helps us spread the word and expand here. So good. This is going to be my last video, hopefully doing this in the basement this week we should be having a um, storage container that's actually coming that I'm going to make into a honey house I'm super excited for because I'm sick and tired of keeping stuff in the basement here I'm sure my wife Christine is really sick and tired because when I do this it's a sticky process as you can imagine and honey gets everywhere every door and harbor in our house gets sticky and it's just that time of year but basically all I'm doing is, is a small wax coating that the bees do above these um, so I'm just removing that so I can put it in the spinner which will be in our next quick video um, back in the day a lot of people this is the way to buy it was they cut the, the comb out and you'd buy it with the wax cappings because it can't be duplicated that way you know you're actually getting pure honey not the case anymore but there's a lot of fake honey out there, so definitely a cool way to buy it. Kind of what got me and Christine started in doing this was we love honey and we would go around and pretty much buy it from everyone local and kind of see what their flavors were because every honey tastes a little different. We love ours the most. I don't know if it's a little bit because it was our own, but that's that. So this is the cappings, and in a future video, we are going to show you guys how we process these and we make um, pure beeswax out of it. Thanks for watching.